I'm here with a different video. In this video, I have a Dell laptop. It's a, a G315 model. And this one comes with a GTX 1050, an iCore 5 9 gen. Unfortunately, this one, they have an overheating problem, some models, some batches. So I'm gonna show you guys in this video how to open it up and repaste or clean up the heat sink. So first thing first, you wanna put flip it over. Next, you wanna grab your opening tool. I use an iFixit. It's a ProTech toolkit. It's really good, really handy. Here it comes handy. The tool that we're gonna use, it's the opening tool. And the screws, we're gonna use the bit number zero. And I usually use a, you can magnetize them or you can just use a magnet. I use a magnet, it's better for me. So this is the one that we're gonna use just for now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove all the screws and just remember the back end the screws, the four, at the four screws at the back side, this one and two in the middle and one at the other end. This one, they have a C lock on them, so they won't actually come out. You just have to rotate them until you hear a click. The rest, it should come out easy. So just like that. All right, now they're back. You're just gonna hear a click. There. 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 If you don't hear a click, just rotate until you feel like it's actually loose enough. Next, you wanna open the laptop about 35 degrees. Then you wanna grab your opening tool and you wanna Shove it right between the top and the bottom cover, and you're gonna wiggle it around to the sides. And to the other side. There we go. And next, you wanna put it back down, close it. Grab it from the front cover and just wiggle it around and lift it. Wiggle it around left. And there's a clips right back here. There's a two tiny clip that's holding it. Just lift and move, wiggle. It should come out pretty easy. This is a clip that I'm talking about right there. So that's the bottom cover. Now here, the rest should be really easy. We got the, um, I believe the GPU and the CPU right here. So the GPU has a VRAMs right here, so that's why it's actually a little bigger. And it actually uses a two vacuumed heat pipes, two small fans, for one for each. So what we're gonna do right now, it's really simple. You don't need to remove the fans, you can leave the fans in. There's nothing attached to the fans. What we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the four screws for the CPU and the four screws for the GPU. You don't need to remove the battery, but if you want to remove the battery, which is not necessary, you can just pull this cable out, this jack. Just pull it out and put it back in later. That's, if you power it off, you don't need to. So this is screws that again, they have a seal lock on them. You're just gonna hear the click. There we go. Now, next, uh, I don't suggest you guys lift it from this side, but if you can, if you want, but I always lift it up from the evenly from here. And then uh, pick it up. So there we have it. There's your CPU, your GPU, I mean, look at this one. And here you see there's a missing VRAM. So if you want to in the future, you can take it to a technician, you can buy a VRAM chip, the NAT chip, and you can just solder it back on. It's called a reballing. So yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the old thermal paste here, the garbage that they use, and we're gonna apply a better thermal paste. You don't need to remove the thermal pads, but 
they are really unnecessary. If you're not going to overclock them, you don't even need them. So let's go ahead and remove the thermal pads. So we're going to grab the working towel. You want to grab some alcohol. Again, you don't need to power uh, unplug the battery. You can just clean it up. There is one. With the CPU, there is no capacitors on top. With the GPU, there are tiny capacitors. So be careful with the capacitor. Be gentle. Just make sure you have pressure on the die. Don't press too hard on the capacitors. There we go. Now we're going to clean the heatsink. Don't worry if you touch the other pads, nothing's going to happen. If you have a COD problem, yeah. Alright, now let's do a second pass. Make sure it's nice and clean. You see all this dirt? Those are the oxidation from the copper. You want to keep rubbing it for a few seconds to remove all this dirt. So it should be really nice and shiny. All right, next you want to grab yourself a thermal paste. I use an MX4 Arctic. It's a good one, you can go with different type. Put a tiny drop right in the middle of the GPU and a tiny line on the heatsink, on the CPU. Don't worry about the air bubbles, all those myths that they say that you can build an air bubble, doesn't matter. You can just, as much as you do, it's okay. As If there's a heat there and there's enough pressure, all the air bubbles go out, so. That's a nonsense. So grab the heat sink. Make sure even if once you put the heat sink down, you don't lift it back up. You put it down evenly. You hold it. And you want to cross stitch this one. You want to stitch this corner first. One screw. Do this one right there. Do the other corner. Once you have these ones in, the rest doesn't matter what order you go. There we have it. Now that's how you repaste and clean the fan and the heat sink. Once you finish with that, if you have unplugged your battery, plug it back in, grab the bottom cover, shove the back end down. Okay, where the hinges go, push it down, make sure you hear the, those clicks, the sides, the front. And the last thing is, put the screws back in, tie up. You don't have to go really hard on the screws, just nice and fair. You have to press here too, there's a clip there. I hope you guys like this video, if you guys liked it and it was a help to you guys i appreciate if you click that thumbs up button and if you guys subscribe it really helps out and if you have any questions or any requests leave them in the comment area and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video now we're gonna power it down i don't know if i Rest it, not there. And we should be inside the windows in a few seconds.